inflation story today from someone who knows all about it. And I found somebody. His name is John Castotides. He owns the Gristides grocery store chain in New York City. Today's inflation report, 8.3%. Go at it. What do you make of it? Well, it's, we're going into a vicious circle, Stuart. Yep. It doesn't, this recession doesn't have to happen. It all started when, when we attacked the fossil fuel industry when President Biden yep. became president. And we went downhill from there. And uh, what's happening is during the COVID crisis, the fact is the, the government took a action to not to force our, our country into recession by acting to help small businesses by, by keeping right. interest rates steady. Now, we are in a temporary problem. We went, oil went up to 120, 20, and now last week was down to 81. It wants to go back down again. The Russians, the OPEC nations, do not want it down. They want $100 a barrel because they want to, they're minting money. And if we force the price of oil down to 65, 75, which it's, it can go to, there is no recession. So I, I, I call upon the Federal Reserve, I, I call upon them, you know, let's have a little bit of. If we keep raising interest rates, we're going to destroy the rest of the country. But they are. And it doesn't keep happen. Rates. But they're but going that's, to raise rates. That's they're well, going to do it. Somebody has to stand up and say it doesn't have to happen, and they're going to destroy the rest of the country. And and there was a recession. The way it could turn into a depression. But there's no if you way. That. There's no way we're going to do the opposite. Well, there's no way we're going to stop raising taxes and stop spending a ton of government money. It's not going to happen. Stuart. You we used to say something's rotten in Denmark. Remember those days? I do. Well, something's rotten in Washington. And if President Biden wants to stand up and say, let's open up North America and oil, guess what? The recession goes away. He, the inflation goes away. And so somebody better get on the phone and start telling, telling the White House, open up North America and oil. OK, so you know perfectly well that's not going to happen. And you know well that the Fed is going to raise rates. So are you predicting a really nasty recession with inflation go, at the same time? We can go into a bad spiral where you have labor increases because right. they, they can't afford to pay for food. So you have labor increases. You have my electric bill went up double last month. So you have electric uh, uh, utility increases, labor increases, uh, and et cetera, and rent increases. And, and people won't be able to afford to buy a house because either the prices of the house has to come down or you're going to have to pay more for uh, your mortgage at 6 percent. You, you run a chain of grocery stores in New York City, Gristides. Yes. Great stuff. Shopping them all the time. Got it. In today's inflation report, there's a lot of information about rising food prices. I mean, they're really they're going up. They're still going up. Well, are they going to go up some more? Well, guess what? If labor keeps going up, yes. Diesel fuel is up. Yes. So food prices are going to continue to rise, and we're going to go into that vicious spiral I'm talking about. The vicious spiral being more inflation, slower economy. Is that what you're talking about? I'm talking about higher interest rates, more inflation, uh, inflation being translated into more labor increases, more, more food increases, more uh, mortgage increases, real estate increases, rent increases. And that's what's going to cause it. Okay. We hear you, and you've delivered your message with some passion. I'm glad we gave you a soapbox to say what you got to say. Thank you, sir. John, you're all right. See you again soon.